at our anchorage spot and being the last weekend of the boating season here in Sydney I would have thought normally over here there's about three or four hundred boats in there but this weekend there's just no one uh, really surprising that it's uh, such a beautiful day and no one's out here anyway they might come out later but we're heading over here to our anchorage spot drop the anchor pump up the stand-up paddleboard and let's see if I can even stand up. My wife's laughing at me. For those of you that know Sydney Harbour or Sydney Surrounds uh, and you're curious about where I like to anchor, um, we head over to a place called Chinaman's Beach, just over in here. But to give you an idea of where we are in situation, uh, this is Clontarf, which is like the beginning of the northern beaches, Manly slightly behind us. The Spit Bridge directly ahead. Uh, that opens and closes throughout the day to let bigger traffic through and up behind Chinaman's Beach where we're going to be is Mossman. Well anchors down, coffee first and then we'll get the sup out. All right, so in the beginning of summer, we were anchored in this exact spot, actually. And there was a boat anchored right next to us. And old mate on that boat pulled out his Hono, his Honu stand-up paddle board. He inflated it. And we watched him fall and fail and get better. And the whole family would go out on the paddle board. And as he was going past the boat one day, I said to him, like, where did you get it from? And so he told me what it was and where to get it from. So I ordered it straight away. But with the combination of that being in the middle of summer and at the end of COVID here in Australia, so the, um, everything was sold out. I ordered it on that day. And that would probably would have been early December, maybe. Somewhere, somewhere in December anyway, we ordered it. But due to delays on delivery and all that sort of stuff, today is the 2nd of April, the 3rd of April, something like that, Easter Saturday, whatever date that is, and we've only just received it. But I'm sure we'll get lots of use out of it next summer, um, but today is a day just to set it up and, uh, and see how we go. But the very cool thing about this, I'm sure you can see that Honu, 
that's the brand name uh they come in really nice little bags so that's not a uh a machine gun for the mafia that's actually the paddle in its own little carry bag and the whole board is in a backpack style bag as well with the backpack straps there so you can actually take it um in your car down to the beach put it on your back and walk down inflate it on the beach now the only thing that would be a hassle with that is the fact that you also have to carry the pump to pump it up and all the accessories too so anyway let's uh put this together see if i can work out how to set it up and see how long it will take for me to fall off all right so the paddle came in three pieces uh that are fully adjustable and you set it for your height as well uh, I'm 177 centimetres, so I'll put it just there, but it goes up to 210 centimetres. So, uh, obviously, if you're taller than that, it might need a custom one. Nice paddle, nice colours. Let's pull the big one out. Goes nothing. All right, it's time to try and get on my feet. To be honest, I don't know how I'm going to do this while I'm carrying a GoPro, but we'll see. beach somehow I've got to get all the way back out there again the wind took me so far I guess while I'm standing up I'm a bit of a sail and the boards light it's full of air so I'm going to uh, walk up into the wind along the beach paddle towards the boat and hopefully I can intercept the boat at the right time and not keep sailing past all the way to New Zealand. It is beautiful here though, look at that. That water is absolutely lovely. I have a feeling that Mrs. Throttle is sitting out on that boat drinking champagne, laughing her head off at me. Anyway, I'm having fun and I'm not injured yet.
All right, team, I'm going to tuck you in. I'm going to get on. And let's see if I can't find my way back to the boat. The alternative is that I swim and just tow the board behind me. But let's try what the cool kids do first. Oh, it's easy on my knees. Worst case scenario, I just get back on my knees. All right. Just send it, hey, just send it. Maybe traveling sideways in the wind, but I'm doing it. I'm not graceful. I'm nearly there. Oh, but I'm gonna crash. Ah, <laughs> uh, this way. Alright, I'm off to New Zealand. See you soon, two Kiwi riders. Bruce and Ralph put the beers in the fridge. Put the steaks on the barbie. I'll be there in about three years. Well, it's official. I survived my first day on a stand-up paddleboard. Uh, for anyone interested in buying a beginner's inflatable stand-up paddleboard, I highly recommend the Honu version that I've got. Uh, this version is 10, 10 foot 6 and it's called the Byron. So uh, so look out, I think it's honu.com.au. Uh, check out the range. Might take you a while to get one like it did for me because they've been popular during this COVID times. Uh, a lot of fun. I look forward to getting better at it so I can have more fun with it and maybe travel a little bit on it too. But I'm out of breath. It was hard work getting back to the boat against the wind. Time for a beer. See you on the next one, guys. Throttle on, stay safe. Thanks for watching. See you later. All right, so. The lifestyles of the rich and famous here. There's a very famous building right there. And you might know it as the home of Nemo. That's where Nemo jumped out of his fishbowl and swam out to sea into the Great Barrier Reef. So time to go back and watch Finding Nemo. Check out Wallaby Way where he escaped his fishbowl.